Hello friends, I am DK. As you know, the energy crisis and the greenhouse gases are the global concern. Day by day, the population increases, so the energy resources also utilizes very rapidly. Because the resources are so limited, and the energy crises are the result. The various methods are used globally to produce or harness the energy. Some common methods, the traditional ways of harnessing the energy are the solar. We utilize the solar panels to generate electricity. These have some limitations because uh, at the night the sun is not available to how to generate the electricity and various other uh, meteorological factors such as the rainy days or the cloudy days and another uh, traditional method to generate the electricity is the wind power. This is also have some limitations because this is not installed anywhere, everywhere across the globe. This is only installed at the place where the, uh, where the annual velocity of wind is 35 km per hour, which is requir uh, required to generate the electricity in commercial manner. You believe it or not, the 60% of the energy, the thermal energy, is wasted in the environment during any energy transformation. During the transformation of the energy through the internal combustion engines or the boilers or the furnaces or the various industrial processes, the large amount of the energy is dissipated in the air which is not utilized. So various methods are developed to utilize this waste energy. So one of the best method or the, we can say the effect is the Paltier effect which directly convert the thermal energy into the util, useful electrical energy. So here we design, here we design, this is the design to generate the heat energy to the electrical energy. And you see, this is the aluminium tray, this is a simple ice tray, which is uh, provided in uh, uh, household uh, appliances, uh, and these are the burners, all as the spirit lamps, which is provided in your uh, lab, school lab, and this is the digital voltmeter, which is just by the voltage, it is generated and this is the fan, electric fan to store the power generated and utilization of the power. And first we put, now come and first we put the, some ice cubes. Some ice cubes in the tray. Then add some water. Because it is very important to Produce the temperature difference in both ends. As you see, the voltage generated. And uh, here we use two split lamps, which is easily available uh, in your school lab. And we just lit the split lamps one by one and put it down the tray. You see the change in the voltage and produce the voltage. See the voltage, and now we just join the fan. The temperature difference maintained is very important to maintain the temperature difference. So, larger is the temperature difference, so higher is the voltage. You see, the voltage increases rapidly when the temperature difference is maintained. This is the basic property of the Peltier effect. High is the temperature difference, so high is the voltage generated across the junctions, PN junctions. And the fan starts moving with the speed when the voltage increases, so the uh, speed of the fan also increases. You learn more about the Peltier effect and use the Peltier effect. Peltier is a very common effect and utilized in various day-to-day -day applications such as the cooling, uh, compressor cooling and uh, solid state coolings for refrigeration and for uh, compressors and microprocessors cooling and other uh, areas of medical sciences and pathologies. So you see the increase the voltage, the voltage I think the rises, rises, so 2.3 volt up to and after some time you see the higher is the voltages. For more details log on to www.tkdynamics.com until now Goodbye. Thanks to watching.